We're going to take a look at an example for offsetting a tangent for a horizontal curve. So we're given a curve with a deflection angle of 21 degrees 12 minutes. It's a 3 degree 40 minute curve and a P the PC is located at station 127 plus 64.23. We're told to find the new tangent, radius, degree of curve, curve length, and PT after the forward tangent is moved outward and parallel 120 feet as shown in the diagram. So again, this method for offsetting a tangent only applies when we're moving a tangent parallel to the existing tangent. So the first step is to find x, and that's the distance along the tangent. That's equal to d, the parallel offset distance divided by the sine of delta. So that's 120 feet divided by the sine of 21 degrees 12 minutes. Gives us an x of 331.83 feet. Our next step is to determine the radius, 18,000 over pi times the degree of curvature. So the, the radius for the existing curve is 18,000 divided by pi times 3 degrees 40 minutes. So that's a 1,562.61 feet radius. And the third step is to find the tangent, which is the radius multiplied by the tangent of delta divided by 2. So we take the radius from the previous step, 1,562.61 feet, multiplied by the tangent of 21 degrees 12 minutes divided by 2, gives us a tangent length of 292.43 feet. And again, that's the existing tangent T. So we're going to take that tangent that we calculated to find our t prime, our new tangent, we're going to add x to that. And again, we're x is positive because we're moving outward. So 292.43 feet plus 331.83 feet gives us a t prime, a new tangent of 624.27 feet. Our next step, now after we have calculated our t prime, 624.27 feet, is to find the new radius, r prime, so that's t prime divided by the tangent of delta divided by 2. So we have 624.27 feet divided by the tangent of 21 degrees 12 minutes divided by 2. Gives us a new radius for this curve after we offset that tangent of 3,335.76 feet. With that radius we can calculate the new degree of curvature, dc prime, so 18,000 divided by pi times the new radius. So that's 18,000 over pi times 3,335.76 feet. Gives us a new degree of curve of 1.7176 degrees. Now we can find the new length of curve. It's going to be a longer curve length to connect to our PT. So 100 multiplied by delta divided by the degree of curvature. So this is 100 multiplied by 21 degrees 12 minutes over our new degree of curve 1.7176 degrees will give us a new length of 1,234.26 feet. And subsequently we, we can find our PT prime, our new point of tangency, which is the point of curvature plus the new curve length. So 1,264. 0.23 feet plus our new curve length of 1,234.26 feet give us a PT prime of 13,998.49 feet and in terms of stations that's a PT prime station of 139 plus 98.49